Hey, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you on how to set up your Samsung Galaxy A40. The reason for this video is because most of you when you purchase a new phone, especially the Samsung Galaxy A40, you might not know on how to set up the phone at the beginning you get, uh, when you start your phone is brand new and therefore you get a lot of questions and you, and you also are and you also asked whether you should activate and set up the, the, the location settings and you get so many other questions and agreements which you have to make at the beginning so some of you are really confused on whether you should make those agreements or not and this is the purpose for that video so i'm going to walk you through on every single step uh, on the during the setup of this phone and uh, also i'm going to explain briefly um every single step and each step to make it easier for you so without further ado let's get into the video so first of all i'm going to start my phone and once you turn on your phone at the beginning straight away uh, you'll see that you have your uh, let's go um, screen right there one moment, i'll just show this clearly there we go so if you just click on let's go if you just click on that button and right here at first you get check out some of info to get started so right here it says all the agreements so this, these are the privacy and policy so this explains the data that samsung will collect from you and uh, so and so on and also it gives you different ki uh, kind of agreements and license agreement so basically the agreement that you own this phone and that this phone is made from samsung but you own it and so I, i'm on this first screen just click i have read and agree to all of the above so otherwise if you don't click um on agree agree to all of the above uh, it will not let you proceed further so just click that you have uh, uh, they have read and you agreed if you want to read through it just go ahead and read through each of each and one of them if you don't want to read through it that's also fine just click i have read and just click next right here this screen uh, shows you um, whether you want to transfer the data from your old phone or not. So some of you might have a different Samsung device or might have an iPhone or any other device and this might be your first Samsung phone and uh, or this might even be your second or third Samsung phone. However, my point is if you want to transfer your data from your old device to the new device, then this is the screen for you. So what you do, you can either transfer the data wirelessly if it's from another Samsung device. So you can just connect to both Samsung devices on the same Wi-Fi network and then that will just walk you through on what to do next. And on this, the second option is for cable and USB connector. So if you have an iPhone and you want to transfer the data from your iPhone, just connect this Samsung phone um, with an iPhone and that will allow you to transfer all the data so if you just click on each each one of these option and uh, you click next that will explain you further on what to do I'm not gonna go into details on this however if you want, if you want me to make it a separate video for this just leave a comments down below and I'm going to read through the comments and if you want me to do a video on this then I'll definitely do it so for now I'm just going to skip this because this is the first uh, this is my first phone and this I want this phone to be fresh new so without any uh, external applications or photos or videos or contacts inside it so right here it gives you all the options for the Wi-Fi networks and you can choose uh, wi which Wi-Fi network to connect to and uh, this is up to you this is completely up to you on which Wi-Fi network you want to connect to but in my case I'm going to connect to my own Wi-Fi and then I'm going to click next and if you want to skip this uh, option you can also do so so let's see what happens if you click if you click next uh, skip when you say skip and just takes you straight to the um, to the Google settings and account so, and this is also allow scanning so basically what Google does is that it tracks your location and where you have been so it can send you personalized advertisement but also to keep track of which restaurants which shops and whichever place you have visited recently so send usage data and diagnostic data so this is for example um, whenever your phone crashes or whenever an application is not working so what the phone automatically takes the bag uh, or takes um, the error and it sends it straight to Google so Google can improve on it and then install updates applications uh, this one does not give you an option to 
to click or to select because this auto, uh, the phone will automatically do that whether you like it or not. I'm going to click accept on all of this and after that it gives you the option to set up the face recognition, the fingerprint, the pattern, the pin, password and otherwise you can just select not now which will skip all of the options above. So in my case I'm not going to set up anything right now so I'm just going to click not now. So it gives a warning um, to keep your phone protected. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to click skip anyway. And that takes you to the recommended application. So these applications are optional. You can download them whether you want to, otherwise you can skip them. I'm just going to click on it just because I want it on my phone. And let's click next. So right in here, you can create your Samsung account uh, if you want to. Otherwise, you can skip it. This is completely optional and it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. Uh, so right in here, it says what you're, what you're going to miss if you click skip. So these are all the um, options and functions that the Samsung, uh, Samsung account will provide you with. So you have the Samsung Cloud, Bixby, uh, Samsung Themes, Find My Mobile, Samsung Pass, Galaxy Store, Secure Folder, and there are a few more which they did not state in here. I'm going to click on skip for now and right in here it says all done so that means that my device is uh, done setting up and it's all ready to go and voila there you have it so that's the samsung phone right there which has started and i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it comments down below and my name is Ibrahim, this is Mobile Stackland and I will see you guys in the next video.